Hello everyone, Sam is here from TradersTradingSystems.com making this a small video about US dollar index and its uh, uh, possible route. So let's get it started. I'm just going to show you a few uh, old charts, how I'm tracking this thing. Uh, this is the chart I made on the 21st Feb, 2021, February 2021. And this is a USD monthly chart showing that it's we're going to be bouncing from here and then go up because the trend is powerful to the upside. This could be wave A and then we go for wave B or come down for wave C, whatever. But, you know, from here, 8880 is supposed to go up. What happened to this chart is after that, we went up all the way to the extension of 127 of this graph, right? We bounced exactly from 8880, right? Where I said that we're going to bounce at all the way to the upside. So that's where I said, okay, now we're going to be dropping from there to the downside. Monthly chart showing that we're going to drop. And also my weekly chart, I made you know, the same at the same time. Um, maybe no, a little bit different. The, the dates are different. Uh, here, yeah, the same day, uh, 15th October, showing that the monthly chart and the weekly chart version, that it's going to drop from there. Right? So what happened? It, it dropped. It dropped all the way. To this area when i made on the second december that this is a monthly chart that little bit more room to go to the downside for 1026 and then we're gonna bounce see this yellow mark here that's what i'm pointing towards that we're gonna drop to this support and then bounce and at the same time i think i made this um, weekly chart as well and uh, this is how it is that we have a little room to come to the downside here you know like 1026 and this rising seal and then we're gonna bounce to the upside and uh, what happened exactly to that is uh, it, we came down you see that this is the chart I reported on the 14 December and my stands were like okay this is where we're gonna stop and then go up and now you can see the current chart showing you that we went up not only the weekly chart and then for the monthly chart you can see that we very nicely bouncing my target is this now right uh, if we go into the upside, and why are we supposed to go to the upside? I'll explain it a little bit. But yeah, we are going 1753 is probably the target to the upside. Weekly chart is probably going to the upside. And uh, the reason that we, I suppose that um, that this thing is going to go up now, because this is a weekly chart, right? So you can't see the internal wave count or Elliott wave count, for example, patterns or all that. We're supposed to see the smaller time frame. Like, for example, um, for our chart, I have this. So the, the draw from the top is like this. It was, came down as a wave one, two, or A or B. And this thing came out like this. One, two, three, four. And this got very nasty. You know, one, two, three, four, five. And then uh, the correction looks like that is going to be finishing around 1026. But what the heck is that? This is called ending diagonal, and it looks like this. All right, it's all over the internet as well. This is the di diagonal that I made, but you can also uh, see this uh, ending diagonal in Elliott Wave on in the, uh, on the internet. You will see a lot of images, right? So this is how it unfolds: one, two, three, four, and wave five turns into like this: five waves, one, two, three, four, five. It's like a triangle, but descending very much descending and contracting. Uh, so usually the triangles are like flat, so the sideways, right? Contracting or expanding, but this is all the way down. That's why we call it diagonal, but it has five legs. Uh, notice that this is exactly what it is doing, one, two, three, four, five, and then starts to rise. If this is wave three, we go in for wave four in ABC fashion, like this. If, if like the one, two, three, and then A, B, C, wave four to be at the area in the last wave four. And then we're gonna drop for wave five an extension to this wave four, maybe around 147 or 161%, depending on if we have uh, what kind of support resistance or what area we have, it, right? But it's gonna go for 127 or 161 extension. Those are the two most common, 90% of the time price goes there. Um, now, if it is, let's say for, where the heck is that? Um, four hours, yeah, four hours. Okay, if this is three, we're gonna go A, B, C, wave four, and then five. If it is correction, and this is wave C, then we're gonna go one, and then 
two, maybe uh, around 61% of that, and then C, um, I mean, three, four, five to the upside. So both scenarios are intact, but for both scenarios, we need to go a little bit more for wave one or A of four, right? So either it's gonna be wave one or wave A of four, either way we have to go to the upside. So this is how it is going to the upside and my 40 minute chart is already turning bullish. So it is bullish now. See, this is bearish when it is, you know, yellow is below the black and then this thing goes in and comes out and come bearish. Uh, below the red line is bearish. So now we are already above the red line and then yellow is above the black. We are bullish and we're going to the upside. So we're gonna go to the upside, USD will be getting it strong, okay? So uh, this is the chart, the current chart. If USD goes into this area for wave four, USD will be getting it strong. And if that happens, then what happens? EU, GU, AU, NU, they will go down. You know, USD, pound USD, blah, 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 all right? And these, and if uh, USD CAD, USD yen, USD franc will go up, right? So I already, for this little bounce from here, from here to here, since I was ready and I was watching it, so last week I had a couple of trades already. Because of this USD move, I had this pound USD short on Thursday for 150 pips, like this chart saying that um, these four pips will go down. So Euro USD has not given me the short entry yet, and not uh, Aussie either, right? But New Z USD, I don't even trade that. So I'm um, still waiting for US, uh, AU and EU, I mean Euro USD and Aussie USD to give me short entries. But I got this UC and UJ means USD CAD, USD Gen already, and more to come, definitely. A lot more entries, a lot more trades to the upside coming. Uh, let me show you that uh, uh, USD CAD, USD Franc, how I, uh, not Franc, uh, sorry, USD Gen. See, USD Yen is like that, 150 pips, beautiful move to the upside and beautiful entry and gone with the way. And uh, that was on th uh, Thursday uh, as well. Uh, this is, uh, where's USD CAD, bro? Oh, I, okay, this is USD CAD, supposed to go up and it did. Nice bounce, giving me the entry here and then all the way to the upside, right? Now, a uh, very important thing that, you know, somebody was asking, so I just want to mention it, that um, it's a lot of entries. You see that here, you know, maybe this is entry, this is entry, why I'm not taking these analysis and all that. Uh, but they're not entries. A lot of times I have this CTS alarm that filters out and uh, I only, the, the alarm beep only a very, very specific entries. For example, if I go back here and I'll show you the 20 minute chart, Right, and let me put that alarm and I show you what the heck is that. Then you probably will understand a little bit. Um, okay, very good. I don't even have that alarm here right now uh, in this broker, so I'm gonna add it up later on. But um, I have a couple of filters. I have filters like um, uh, the threshold between the distance between these two. Uh, uh, you know, some of these EMAs, like for example, if the distance is too far, uh, too much, and this yellow line, a yellow, a red line, uh, too far, and then I have an entry, my alarm wouldn't be. It has to be in, under a certain area. Uh, like, for example, yellow line and a red line is closed like that, that's fine. Uh, similarly, it should not be too close. If this is closed like this, yellow and red is very close, and I have an entry like this, it's not going to be. That That's not the entry, right? And... This is, you know, the threshold. Like uh, the other uh, filter is the time filter. That what is the starting time of the trading and what is the ending time. And every uh, different pairs move in different times, right? So uh, you, you got to know that which pair, I mean, yen pairs and Aussie pairs usually move in uh, Asian session, right? Because they are Asian currency, right? The pound pairs usually move in pound or USD pair and uh, uh, I mean, um, a UK session and US session, right? So, uh, and, and different pair move differently. Some, you know, the daily range is different for everything, right? For example, if I have anything here, um, like for example, Euro USD, for example, right? See, it's coming down, it's gonna give me the entry. <laughs> so 
Anyway, so Euro USD has the daily range of how much? That means that it moves that much in one day. But how much? It's one twenty-two from top to bottom every single day in twenty-four hours. It moves one hundred twenty-two pips, right? So you cannot expect to have one hundred fifty-six pips. No sense. But if you look at the pound USD, that daily range is much higher in this pair. This moves 199, see? From 122 to 199, average, 60 day range. 60 day average uh, is 200 pips. And previous day means uh, Thursday or Friday, it moved 270 pips, right? Big, big mover. So that's what it depends like. That's how I had a 150 pip pair the other day because this, this thing moves a lot. And it moves in a certain time, so you gotta know. So my filter, I mean, this the older version is there, and I can show you that. See, that's why. See, this is you know, so that you can you know select long, short, tall arm should be followed through. That this is the distance between. Uh, the new one has two distances and two time frames as well. So they filter out all the entries for you, right? Uh, mm -hmm. If it's not the correct time, the alarm's not gonna beep, even though that the setup is there. No. That's bad. You cannot trade this market 24 hours. No, you're going to lose. You have to be uh, watching for the news and then you know, it's a lot of other factors, right? So that's what I teach in my webinars. And then this is what my system is. So if you like what you saw, you want to be a part of it, you want to get the system or learn more. See, this is the Elliott Wave count in my 80 minute chart one, two, uh, this whole thing is three, and then now it's going to go up to wave four. So I have different uh, time frame setup. Is uh, Renko Bart, right? So uh, this is how it is. Uh, <clears throat> all right, so I'm just gonna close it now and be ready. And um, this USD, where the heck it go? Oh, okay, I moved it here. Weekly chart, all right? Pay attention to this. It's keep going to the upside, staying above 1247. Then I go next to 14, then this, I forgot to mark, but it's almost the same thing like that. And then eventually it's gonna come down for B and then go up. For, so as it moves up and down, these pair will move up and down and make waves. So you gotta know exactly which wave you are in, right? And if you if you know what it is, and then you use a proper system like I have, this you know entry system, magic I you know, not magic, I don't call it magic anymore. <laughs> I don't like the word now. So creative system, then uh, you are right on track. All right. So this is what this is what it is. Um, bye for now, and hopefully talk to you guys soon. I'm gonna make another video about something, uh, maybe in like a couple hours. All right. So bye for now, and talk to you guys later.